Oh, hi, Cubs. For whatever reason, it stopped being in focus. How are you? I hope you're doing well. We are going to start our shared reading. And remember, this week we're going from one shared reading to another. So we're going to go from yesterday's almost book to, um, <laughs> to today's pearl book. Um, and I asked you on Monday to tell me, uh, character traits for Pearl. Now, you guys did a great job. So, thank you to Trinity, Mason, Treya, Diley, Sarvanch. Um, that's who had it on Monday. So, let me go back to Monday and double check that, yeah, that's who responded. So, thank you. And Louisa also said, um, and Louisa too. So, Louisa said, uh, a lot of us said two words. We, I saw people say kind a lot, and I think that she is kind. So I definitely am going to put that down on our list, that Pearl is kind. Um, and then the other word that we used a lot to describe Pearl was hopeless. And I think when we say hopeless, we mean without hope. And I do think that, you know, at the, she was worried about that, but... Um, when we say a person is hopeless, we say that they are without hope, meaning like they are a hopeless person. Basically, like there is no hope that they'll get any better. So there's a little bit of a disconnect between when we talk about a person and we talk about a situation. So we might say that Pearl feels her situation as hopeless, meaning it's without hope. But when we say it and apply it to a person, it means we think that they are without hope, meaning that you they can improve, they can't get better. So that's why I'm not going to put it down for Pearl because I don't think that fits her. I think that when a lot of you guys gave me the word hopeless, you were thinking about it in terms of, you know, without hope, which is very like how she might feel. But her being hopeless is another thing. So let's see today if we can find some other words besides kind. Kind was a good one. That might describe Pearl. Okay? As we read, I want you to think about that. Try to think of something else besides hopeless. Something else besides um, kind. Alright? And let's read together. Ready? In the vast sea of blue, some mermaids watched over the waves, breaking upon the endless beaches. Some kept an eye on the great coral reefs. So there's those. Right, here we go. Ooh, here we go. Well, there we go. Some tended to the towering forests of kelp rising from the ocean floor. Some guarded giant the giants of the deep. And Pearl deeply yearned to be one of them. Mother, I am big enough to help too, she said. Yes, Pearl, her mother considered. Come with, come with me. I have something very important for you to look after. Oops, Miss Canterbury kind of forgot my voices for a moment. So I'm going to go back and read this page because for a moment all the texting from the second grade teachers interrupted what I was reading. So let me start with my, my pearl voice. Mother, I am big enough to help too, she said. Yes, Pearl, her mother considered. Come with me. I have something very important for you to look after. They swam up. And up and up. Past the breaking waves until the sandy shore stretch all around them. This, her, said her mother, is yours. She placed a single grain of sand in Pearl's hand. Yours to care for every day and keep safe every night. But mother... But mother, protested Pearl, you said I could help with something important. The smallest things can make the gr a great difference, Pearl, her mother replied. <laughs> Sorry about all the dinging. That's all the text messages from the second grade teachers. With that, Pearl was left alone. A wave of disappointment washed over her. She was surrounded by thousands of grains of sand 
millions, billions beyond counting. And here she was entrusted with just one? Well, I think I want to reread re this a little bit better for myself. So I want to sound like this, like, I want to feel like how Pearl feels. So even though I'm the narrator, I want to say this the way that Pearl would feel, okay? She was surrounded by thousands of grains of sand, millions, billions beyond counting. And here she was entrusted with just one? So even though I'm the narrator, I'm still trying to show Pearl's feelings through that reading. Her heart grew heavy, and the weight of her weight of it pulled her down, down, down. So she was disappointed, and now she's kind of sad, right? Where the salt of her tears mingled with the sea. And remember these feelings of disappointment and sadness. Those are just feelings, right? They're not quite character traits. Pearl glowered at the grain of sand. She clenched it in her tiny fist. Then from beneath her fingers came a faint light. But when Pearl had opened her hand, it was gone. Pearl closed her hand around the tiny grain. Again, gently this time. So again, as we read these narr narrator parts, we want to make sure that we're still reflecting the feelings that Pearl is feeling, right? The sand rested on her re the sand resting on her palm had a luster to it that had not been there before. Every day Pearl preserved it, polished it, and played with it. Every night she protected it, and slowly, very slowly, it began to grow, and grow, and glow. I'm going to say that word importantly because it's big and it's slanty ways, right? And as it grew lighter, so did Pearl's heart. It seemed to buoy them up, and up, and up. until it rose into the vast sea of stars. Sorry, I, I wasn't holding it. It's hard to hold this book, it's so shiny. Pearl beamed up at it. It beamed back. Its light touched everything. It sparkled on the breaking waves and the coral creating new reefs. It glowed in the tides flowing through the towering forest and illuminated the giants rising from the deep. And it shone upon Pearl. And that's the end, right? Excellent job. So what other words, maybe besides kind, can we think of for Pearl? You might want to go to your your character trait list to look. So what are the words besides kind? Remember, we don't want happy. We don't want sad. We don't want upset. Those are all emotions. So really focus on, on, on character traits, on who she is on the inside. All right? Um, very good. Great job. Uh, and we will continue with Alma tomorrow.